they rolled really takes high. approximately a week of hard travel. Endurance check. No, you don't have to make endurance checks. Um, but as you're, as you're going, it goes on and on, and you realize these orcs are not stopping until they get back to the Keep of Many Arrows. You're not going to catch up with them. They're traveling at an orcish pace, which means that they're hightailing it all the way. Are they drinking us? They, they might be. This one might be. Oh, he's traveling under a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> we Although, what happens to the darkness when the sun comes up? I would rather kill them all. Good question. When the sun comes up, the darkness is ever present. You can see a bright disc in the sky, moving across the sky. When it would be time for the sun to rise up, but this, this, it never really becomes daylight. Um, at its brightest, it's like a badly, badly overcast day. Like Alaska. Water, please. No, Alaska is actually brighter than that. So, even though darkness covers the sky all around you during your travels, the route to Dark Arrow Keep is easy to follow. You know that if you follow the river Serbrin north into the spine of the World Mountains, that heading toward the source of one of its tributaries, you will not be far from the center of the Orc Nation of Many Arrows. Let me let me remind you. Let me remind you that you are aware that the orcs of the Many Arrows Kingdom have signed treaties with the Silver Marches. However, sometimes individual tribes grow weary of the peace and ignore the orders of their king. This happens, this happens routinely. Sometimes, some tribes are much more militant than others. It's a yearly basis. Some of them, on a generational basis, just new upstart chief decides he needs to test his mettle. Um, and so orc attacks still happen, but not nearly as much as they used to. And for the most part, the Kingdom of Many Arrows has tried to establish trade with the rest of the kingdom, with the rest of the civilized lands. So then it's not just one two. We've gotten to the Keep of Many Arrows, also known as the Dark Arrow. Well, you're traveling through the Dark Wilderness right now. So, you're not really encountering anything else, especially not with the sky darkening dark as it is. Uh, so those of you who are traveling freely, <laughs> you're charging us already. <laughs> Uh, you will have some time to get to know Rook a little bit better. Yes. Thank you. Your coin purse is gone by the time you make it. The, the, the woman that you met, uh, her name was Goodwife Winstrom. She nursed Rook to home. After being found in the aftermath of a horrible no, attack, and shouting and arguing with Dr. Mongoose before. Actually, actually, um, excuse me, I take that back. Um, Rook's mother was an orc. Uh, Rook's mother was an orc named Morella, who was rescued years ago after being attacked by wild animals and left for dead in the moon woods. Goody Wynn nursed the orc back to health and there being part of the community. She took a human forester named Uvon as a husband. Uh, and then Ruff was raised in the village. Uh, but his mother 
taught Will right. about book culture, taught him to speak languages, um, and informed him that he belonged to the Broken Arrow tribe, meaning that he is actually related somehow to the king of the Orc Nation. <laughs> Right, and you're not Not that close. Along the way, you see signs that orc war bands have spread outward from the spine of the world mountains and begin attacking civilized areas. This is not the attack that you are part of is not the only one that is happening. You find a group of human hunters, well, you find the remains of a group of human hunters who obviously ran afoul of orcs. Brutal. Uh, they were butchered and left on the trail. One of the hunters still clutches his bow in one hand and a broken arrow in the other. Upon seeing this bloody sight, Rook pales and mutters under his breath. And he mumbles something else. One more can you tell us of this? This looks like your people on the rampage. The Broken Arrow tribe with the people of the peace, the signers of the country, the trees. This is this is despicable. Uh, this is atrocity. Uh, Try this first. He's already using bigger words than you know. Big words. You don't know what you mean. True intelligence. This won't let me go down. Six. You wouldn't let us roll. That's right. If you could have had a three. <laughs> We're going to do a more thorough search of these bodies. Sure. Yeah. I these look like regular hunters just about their day. Take a one right Yeah, they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. And the tribe is slaughtered over the only indication that it was the Broken Arrow tribe was just Broken Arrow. You're not sure that it was the Broken Arrow tribe? Rook tells you as much. Um, but it does remind him of that saying, you know, even a Broken Arrow is deadly in the right hand. I got to check on where going. You continue traveling. Just, just an unfortunate thing that you find along the road. Um, finally, you reach, you reach an area controlled by the orcs of the Illuminati Arrows plan. Jack, as you're traveling along. You notice orc sentries hidden in the footprints. They're not attacking you. They're just watching it. Do you do anything or say anything? Oh, point. All I just had point. Yeah, I don't want to get in the crowd. We need an armed escort to the king. We're here to talk to the king. Well, those, they're pretty, are they far away, these sports that are watching them? Or? Yeah, they're, yeah, you can kind of see them up in the hills every once in a while. Uh, you catch sight of an orc who's, he wasn't there a moment ago, and then you see him, and he's, not trying to hide. Not really. Just looking at you. And you keep going. And you try to put it out of your mind. And you look back. And he's not there. And then a little while later, you're looking again. And you see his 
there's Are another orc. Yep. All right. And they're watching. Death, guys, so. They're watching. Yeah, they're not stopping you. Stay the course, man. Stay the course. course. Most of you have blood Yeah, here they're closing. Where the river Serpent roars down the spine of the world mountains on its southward course, the foothills seem insignificant compared to the forbidding snow covered peaks that back them. Even if you survive that last stage of the journey, you face the prospect of entering a fortress full of orcs. Fortunately, you have the kin of the king of the orcs by your side. You take no more than a few steps into the river canyon when a guttural cry interrupts your progress. On all sides of you, dozens of orcs emerge from hiding. More than a hundred arrows are knocked and aimed at you. Three. Yeah. Okay. Rogue steps forward, throws off his cloak, and takes on a proud demeanor. He calls out in giant, My people, I have come to join you. I am of tribe Broken Arrow. I and my companions seek audience with King of Wolf in his home at Dark Arrow Keep. Lead me to my kin. I hope you do. Go for it. And I, I do like a Charlton Heston, I'm really going and I, oh, yeah. let my people go! <laughs> a silence. <laughs> then, more than a dozen arrows sprout from Rook's chest. The look of pride given no time to drain from his face before he hits the ground. An angry voice shouts in giant. I gave no order to flush that wolf, you maggots! A different mocking voice laughs and snorts. You hit it in the knee? You forgot to say, please! <laughs> As more laughter rises, a short orc with bristling white hair steps out to shout at you in common. Do not draw your weapons. You are prisoners of King of Wolf. No harm will come to you unless you resist. Which of the wolf is this? The first one is still or this is like King of Wool the Fourth or the Fifth or something. Just wondering. He has lost sway over many of the wolves. I don't know, it's just chaotic evil. Right. Every one of them it it gets progressively worse. <laughs> um, okay, so, Rope is lying on the ground, with the arrow sticking out of it. This guy's told you to surrender. What do you do? We are, yeah. We have to be even with this. Is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? He's got an arrow sticking out of him, you're not sure. Uh, I mean, arrow. Do they go clean through? through. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're sticking in it. Well, but like, Basically, how much mince meat is going to You healing right hand? Okay, you run up to him and you say a healing word. This, the bleeding slows. You're going to have to start pulling the arrows out. Yeah. Um, go ahead and make a healing check if you have it. I have healing word. You cast healing word, but maybe you'll trip off. That's armor piercing. There, there's no holding the arrows. You guys are like, what just happened? Like your armor piercing. You guys see this? Oh, wait. You guys are like, that's fine. That's enough for you to pull the arrows out without doing any more harm. You start working on that. The orc with the gray hair. He's got one of his eyes is scarred over and the other one squints. He looks. He allows you to finish healing the, your, your ally. And once you're done with that, he motions over to some of his other orcs. They come down and if you don't resist, they bind your hands and they take your weapons away. Okay. Where did this turn so bad? When we sat down in the yes. Who brought the skills? They they grab it. This is what happens unless you resist. Does anyone fight back? I'm surrendering. You surrender? Gladly. Uh, Chase? Half of you surrendering, man. Half of you have a strong tradition of surrendering to orcs. Bravely surrendering. 
Take your staff, and they begin leading you away. What about Jack's pet? Once they they're not quite sure what to do. The orcs are surrounding them with their bows drawn. They look at you. They don't look harmless. Send your beasts away. You dismiss them? No, 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 I don't. And I go follow. Maybe like. So you tell them, you tell them, you tell them to leave, and then follow you. Okay. Okay. So your so your animals, you send your animals off, and then they're gonna come back. Yeah. Okay. You are led into the Dark Arrow Keep. Except for me. You enter a large chamber hewn from the mountainside. Large stone tables fill half the hall, and the pelts and stuffed heads of wild beasts decorate the walls and floors. Weapons of all shapes and sizes occupy places of reverence and displays along the edges of the room. This is everyone. Dozens of orcs and half orcs either sit at the tables or mill about. Out, many of them hissing, whistling, and laughing as you are brought forward. All of us? All of you. All of you. Oh. Oh. Hey, Lol, how'd it go? This is Dragon Roll. We successfully got the villagers to save you. That's all that matters. A muscular, a muscular, heavy, a heavily armored orc sits in a carved stone chair before you. Glaring with a menacing air. His eyes shine with an intelligence beyond what you've seen in other orcs. He takes stock of you. I was told that you were coming to attack us. But I think your threat might have been exaggerated. The orc's gravelly voice belies the wit behind it as jeers fill the room. What business have you with a bull? The king of many arrows. Tarrant, love, or mighty, or grass. It's only a five. Hammer is a key. Five. Held Ruby's fire. <laughs> you have, I mean, this is the first time that you've seen the king of wolves. The rest of you are taken prisoner. Those who were just found, you were dragged there right away. And then the rest of your prisoners, you were brought in at this point. You were brought in as well. But you were at least free to kind of do what you wanted to do. You've been under observation. This they're point. watching you, but you may, not. you've only yeah, been here. You've only been here overnight. You've only been here overnight. But then you're finally brought in along with everyone else. The cousin. Rook. Rook. Rook is brought in as well. Is he conscious? He's conscious. He managed. Yeah, you you saved him. You saved him. And um. As you're being dragged to the key, the orchestra lieutenant who confronted you, uh, you find his name is Erfair. Erfair. <coughs> um, he seemed pretty unhappy that his soldiers attacked without him giving the word. Which time? Okay, so the king asked you, what business do you have? 
Pixie? Well, yeah. minus one. Yeah, what is this thing that they have here? I'm gonna step forward then. The party just makes the decisions. He doesn't have to be the mouthpiece. I thought you were going to be What's going to do to Bones' car? I could actually do a reward. You're putting it on the spot on everybody. Yeah, it doesn't like green. I thought you were right. He's not totally like prisoner. All right, I'll say something. The dwarves? Yes, the hammer gets the ruby. I've always given bread. I love bread. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I get packed. Exactly. Exactly. No! Who darkened the sky? Master Blaster. Master Blaster. A half orc holds up his hand to gain attention. His green hued leather armor and no, long bow no, no, no. set him apart from his actual no, 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 intent. Ah, it's not your turn. Um, his long bow and his green hued leather armor set him apart from his axe wielding kin. To break the peace would be madness. We are finally flourishing. These outsiders speak the truth. Why risk everything we and our ancestors have worked for? I'm going to speak up at that point, and I go, as far as I can remember back, orcs have always been Dark Elves' slaves, not their compatriots. Oh, there's boos and hisses from the crowd at this. It looks like a couple of orcs are ready to charge you right there. Their hands <laughs> tighten around their axes. Yes. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Come an, old orc, up, so. an old one-eyed orc, an old one-eyed orc wearing animal skins and carrying a feather decorated spear shouts out and his voice carries across the entire room. The silence across the room except for this one booming voice. We have seen what the drow can do and how much power they have. They darken the sky, but what power do these intruders possess? If they can't stop the drow, we would be ruled the fools to take not to take the stronger side. I say the strongest of them should step into the pit. If Grumsh wishes us to listen to these ones, they will honor him with blood in the pit. If he wishes to guide us through these ones, their champion will win. I accept. <laughs> I smile at this. They start thumping their asses on the ground. The pit! The pit! The pet! Me by axe! I accept! <laughs> they begin... They, they, they crowd in around... May we say a few words? They crowd in around you. No, you're not unconscious. You're a They crowd in around you, and they begin leading you off. And as you're led off to this pit, they hand you your axe. Oh, good. And my shield. No, no, no. It's just me. No, no, no. Just him. <coughs> and it happens right away. You're all let off, and you can watch this. But he's taken a different way. Can we, can we bless him? Can Tempest bless him? There's no time. There's no time. They've already begun to shepherd him into the pit. Right, well, if I can get within two squares of it, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> the shaman addresses the rest of you. Your champion fights for you all. You must not interfere, or you forfeit the battle and face the, ra the rage of Grumsh's people. Do you understand? Yes. It's law. Are we out of the counter? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. A rope is thrown over the edge for your champion to climb into the pit. All right. When your champion reaches the pit floor, does he still have my shield of faith? A gigantic, heavily scarred, overly muscled orc wearing pieces of armor, wearing a giant shield and a giant mace. Question before you. Emerges from the den into the main chamber. All right. Yeah. Hey, that's a big oh, oh, cool. I was. What? I love that mini. I saw it on my. I love that mini. What's your What's your character name? So we can change appropriately. Barack. 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 Did I? In all you this time, did I have to spend healing You rock. You rock. Give me an A. I should really kill it. Give me an A. Give me an A. Rico. Yeah. Rolling at you. How closely are we watched throughout this whole thing? Yeah. So you are on the edge. Yeah. How closely are we watched? Yeah. Oh, how closely are you watched? Yeah. 
Um, I'm thinking of my, uh, I want to show you what you did. You go first. Go ahead and break yourself. Where's going to do the death I was thinking about laying the cross. That's fine. It takes you a move to get there. Okay. So, from high, these are not going to work. That could also be a charge. Okay, yes, great. Then that, I'm going to charge you. That's fine. Okay. Where are you, Rico? I am right in his face. Yeah, no, that's not what I did. That is a 22 versus armor class. You hit nothing but five. Using my daily on this. Sure, I'm on. Yeah, it's right there the strike. Little daily action. What says that? Nice! 14, 21, 30, uh, 30, 38. 38. Woohoo! You slice them good! Good! Yeah, he's not happy about that. The orcs gasp at this display of savagery. Action point. I say we let him go! Alright. Are our hands like so all bound? Yes. Now we're yeah, not doing go. anything. I don't think I spent it. Did this. you not hear him? Then yes. I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him. I did count it. Turn out. I'm going to take down the turn. It's okay. I forgot to act. You would piss him off. That was his last time. Well, I'm going to hit him with a big hit. He's going to play a little bit. I'm going to hit him with a big hit. I'm going to hit him with a big hit. I'm going to hit him with a big hit. I'm going to hit him with a big hit. I'm going to hit him with a big hit. The orc <laughs> swings his giant flail out and giving away presents. Uh, that's from Khan. That's a while. They're, they're dried up. But thanks. What was this? The Jagger Force? From 20 versus 18. Uh, that will hit. 13 points of damage. How much? 13. How, what's he at? Uh, Rico is now 19. No, no, no. I had 8 temps. Oh, close. And he kind of jumps back on and then leaps forward again. No, I'm good. Thank you. Where's your action for you? He's, he's mobile. He's very mobile. Do you have any like slowing, staggering? I, I do. But that will be for 12 points of damage. All right. Are sure you don't want me to help him out with this one? Does anyone want to attempt to do something at this point? Come on, let's do this. We don't attempt to do anything. Now, I'm I, I, Chase, to answer your question, you might be able to get away with it. Yeah! If it doesn't have any obvious yeah. effects. Yeah. Hypnotism, yeah. Hypnotism, yeah. Hypnotism, yeah. Hypnotism, yeah. hypnotism, especially on my own allies. His eyes glow purple as he surges in for speed. Even motivating speech. I don't know, I should ask. Has hypnotism really had this obvious effect outside of the balance? He's going to do it. He's going to I don't know. I'm sorry. You can do it. You can try it. My will is pretty weak. <laughs> what I'm going to say is you can try it. I, I'm not terribly resistant, and I'm not going to be putting up much of a fight with this. Producing gaze and a whispered word. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a will attack against Rico. Do it. Um, what are you trying to okay. Don't worry about that. Just roll me a bluff check. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Uh, the other one on that, that's going to be 32. Yeah. Well, the 20 on that. It's fine. You're hypnotized into attacking. Plus Great. four. <laughs> Plus four. And it's a basic melee? Yeah. yeah. It's not anything, right? Basic, basic melee? Plus four. four. You're going to need it, too. Uh, <laughs> Someone <laughs> plus nine is 16. 16 plus four? No. No, that's total. Yeah. Oh. 16 plus four. We are. But again, you have more. Okay. Yeah. Double what we have. Okay. Rico, it's your turn. It's my turn. All right. I saw you were here. You did last year. I did. Second win. All right. If you, if you don't think you can pass, no, it's not going to be the same. Well done. All right. I'm well done. That's how you want to do it. Probably not. I would say 
say so. Call it as we can do it. Healing words? Three, four, and five. Healing words? Not up? Well, I'm assuming a four. I'm assuming a four. I'm assuming a four. I'm assuming a four. The attacks you get. I'm assuming a four. For 11 points of damage. Come on, Rico. Ooh, Ooh, it's close. Does anyone else? Does anyone want to try something? I'm gonna just kind of scream. I'm like, Why did we send him in there to do a dwarf's job? So it's a pissed off bonus for that. Here's the tactic I'd like to employ. I would like to put on my ring, creating a phantasm of myself, so I can slip away to the side and cast human word into the cage. Oh, okay. Try it. Okay. Trying it. Make a stealth check. Oh boy. Sorry. Oh boy. I assist. I assist. Did you kill the dragon? Oh god. Yeah! You're not sure where it came from, but you feel a sudden surge of strength invigorating you. Roll your healing word. Oh no, Rico, you can roll a d6. Patrick was on that I don't want to get blamed. <laughs> Good idea. I think there's a rider coming. What? Two. Research? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, he's dying. Right. Have a He died. He got off to a good start, but was slow. I'm the champion. Oh, yeah. 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 So he's more just you're up. Oh, I'm up. You're up. I realize that. He's probably got that on like his clothes. I probably didn't be warm. Alright, is he bloody? Yeah. Alright, so yeah. John, is yeah, he bloody? Yeah, he's bloody. I'm gonna run better on my healing word. I hope they have the point. That's good. You're in the champion? 20 versus armor class? Yes. Alright. And I'm in the angle. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Come on, come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. 12 plus 8 is 20. Add furious assault to that. Very nice. That's another weapon. Add 3 more to that. Yeah. Rocks. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. A rock, a rock, a rock! I'm gonna leave. Paul shall fall before me! There's still a little bit more than the I really don't got it. The shaman gripped through my tank. The shaman takes stock of you with his one eye. A grim smile plays over his tusk now. Grumsh is pleased. He does not wish the crooked path tribe to join the Dark Elves. Shouting and arguing erupt among the orcs, many storm out of the hall despite King Ogould's calls for them to halt. King Ogould honors you adventurers by returning your equipment to you. He offers you food and drink, and you feast with the King of Many Arrows tonight. Yeah! yeah. yeah. That's the Orc style, man! That's like Golden style! <laughs> of many. He provides you... You're probably not going to like the food. He provides you a room to rest in before you leave tomorrow. Rest is good. You will get to take an extended rest. Like the caveman. Which means what? The quarter has been not. We're not quite done. No, 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 guys, we're not quite done. No, 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 no. The quarters that King of Gould has provided are comfortable. However, as you rest, the door to your chamber suddenly opens, and an orc wearing a cloak and hood slips inside without so much as a knock. The orc is a young female wearing the insignia of King of Gould. And like, uh, Excuse me, Patrick. Patrick. We're, trying, we're trying to finish. <laughs> she speaks in hushed tones, saying, I am Grubla, a bold servant. The king has no love for drow, but he has lost sway over many orc tribes. Some of these traitors plan to kill you. Great Ogold says Mithril Hall, Dwarf Home, is a target of drow and orc. The king releases you to go to Mithril Hall. Let dwarves know that orcs who shake spears and sunder shields beside the drow break with the throne of many arrows. King Obul shall bleed the traitorous tribes. Why Ogul can't throw open his gates for you without seeming to be a betrayer? 
These halls are full of warriors who want your blood. You must go through lower halls, which are lightly guarded. Sneak out, or pretend you are orcs. Slay guards only if you must. If you lack bravery and craft, you can flee through a refuge chute in the lower level. If you attempt to fight your way out any other way, you will die. She provides you hooded cloaks as she's speaking to conceal your forms. It's a strategy. But I can do it. Ribla's instructions bring you to the lowest levels of Dark Arrow Keep. Guards patrol these halls, but they are few in number, as Gribla mentioned. I'm going to speed us through this since we're yeah. okay. over by 10. You run across only a couple of small patrols along the way. They're easily dispatched, and then you're able to escape from a keep. Dark Arrow Keep wins behind you. Your next mission takes you to Mithril Hall. Ancient stronghold of the dwarves. Yes! With many orcs joining the drow assault ever, on the surface ever, world and the terrible darkness that seems to extend everywhere, this conflict has become larger than anyone could have imagined. Right. And that is the end of session two. Thank you, John. That was good, John. Take an extended rest and level yourselves up to level three. Yes, sir. Are we using the. Is that the natural bonus of the No, because I've already hooked you up. Oh, I've already hooked you up and stuff. Right. Well, he already gave us magic items. So, so some, of you, some of you got magical things already, and I'm going to be providing you with other magical things along okay. the way. So, that's what I meant. Okay, so, I, so I, all right, I, I checked that on because of what it said on the website. I should take that off. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. It didn't matter actually until tonight because it didn't begin. Yeah, but it yeah. only had it. So we can I want to talk about one more no, mechanical thing. Okay, so that I'd like to change because I don't like I don't like the logic of the way they're using it. My wizard is probably pissed off. I want to run it by you. First, I got the Knight of the Orcs. Now I'm in the Dwarven Thunder. That's awesome. You're going to have to sleep. This whole, my, the whole thing with this guy is I can't think of him as like the Sith out of the original Star Wars. You know, the snobby so we have, kind of, you know, uh, There you go. Yeah, really good. Very nice, John. Thank you. Thanks again, John. Good. So we're going to have a makeup session. We're going to have another makeup session. I'm not sure when exactly. Because I need to go back. So am I. Except for Thursday or Friday. You have to go where? All week. All week, you say. Um, okay, we'll figure this week I'm okay. The following weekend. This weekend I'm okay. I'm okay this weekend. The following weekend I'm not available. I'd be available on Friday, but not Saturday. So, yeah, you're in trouble. 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 Yeah. Oh, I'm right. Right. Which doesn't make sense to me. I think what it should be is until you're bloody, as a minor action, you can enter Berserker's Fury. And once you're bloody, you're automatically yeah. bloody. Because what happens when you enter Berserker Fury is you stop being a defender. Uh, it's just, and you enter the last one of the encounter. Well, that's, that's, why, that's why the Berserker is designed that way so that you can switch between being a striker or a defender. True. That's, that's and, and I'd say up until you're bloody, you can That's the way I can do it. That's up to you. I'm not going to force you. I'm going to do it again, man. Thanks.